Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Chelsea and I am a mom to an IVF miracle baby girl. Her name is Ray and she's 18 months old in the past year and a half has been the best time of my life. When I was pregnant with Ray, I remember starting my registry and being so overwhelmed with what to register for. There are just so many options and I spent countless hours trying to research to figure out what I would actually need for my new baby. So in today's video, I am teaming up with my friend here on YouTube, Michelle Burr, who is pregnant with her own IVF miracle babe. She is about 23 or 24 weeks along now, and we thought it'd be fun to do a collab and each share a video of what to register for a baby. And these are gonna be from two different perspectives. So if you watch her video, she's going to be sharing what she's currently registering for, for her baby boy. And I'm gonna be sharing what I would register for as a first time mom now that I've sort of got that experience behind me. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys who might be feeling a little overwhelmed with starting and creating your registry. And if you are coming over to my channel from Michelle's channel, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for coming over and checking out my channel in this video. I would love it if you would join our YouTube family here. I share a lot about what it's like being a working mom and I am very passionate about the infertility community and supporting that community. And we'll be starting our TTC journey for baby number two here shortly. So I hope you'll join me on our upcoming adventures. Okay, so before we jump into the individual products and I share what I would be putting on a registry right now if I were a first time mom, I wanted to first have you guys just take a minute to consider your circumstances. So the things that I'm putting on my list and what Michelle puts on her list, they're going to be a little different based off of the type of routines you want to incorporate with your baby. For example, if you are planning on breastfeeding or formula feeding, or if you are a working mom, if you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe even the layout of your house might determine what you would be registering for. Another thing to consider is if you decide to use some type of method to establish routines with your baby. So for us, we use the moms on call method. I've got plenty of videos on this. If you wanna check them out, I will have them linked down below. But basically it's a method of mostly sleep and schedule training. And in that method, they actually have you put your baby into their room in their own crib by two weeks old. And because of that, I did not need a bassinet. Our baby's room, the nursery is right next door to our bedroom as well. So we felt totally comfortable moving her to her bedroom at just two weeks. Also, because we were moving her to her bedroom so early on, a good baby monitor was really important to us from right off the bat. So those are just a couple of examples of how your circumstances will play into the type of items you may want to register for your baby. So I did go ahead and create a baby registry list within my Amazon store. So if you wanna check that out, you can just click the link in the description box below. You'll see my Amazon store and you'll be able to find that section of the store. So you can kind of browse over the items I'm talking about in today's video. Another thing that I wanted to recommend to you guys is registering at two different places. So choose whatever works best for you. I chose Amazon and Target. And I think it's great to register at two different places because if one place doesn't have something, the other place might have it. So register at two different places and also take full advantage of the benefits that come from having a baby registry, which that usually includes a gift and a discount. So let's say you've had your baby and there are a couple things on your registry that you weren't given or haven't been purchased, then you can go ahead and purchase those items at a discount for a certain amount of time after you've had your baby, which is so awesome and we definitely took advantage of that. It is important to know that you do have to complete your registry before you get those benefits. That just means you have to register for something in each category that that particular place or store requires. Um, which isn't really hard to do. You just have to make sure you do it. So I'm not gonna be going over every category that a registry requires in this video. I'm gonna be going over mainly the bigger items that I think are important to put on your registry. So that way, if they aren't purchased, you can go ahead and get that discount if you do need to purchase them yourselves. So I'm not gonna be including like the books and the clothes and the blankets and those kinds of things that you wanna register for. Those are commonly gifted items. And so I don't feel the need to go over 
those kinds of items. So when you're completing your registry, just have some fun and feel free to add some cute outfits and toys and books and all the stuff that you personally want for your baby. But a quick tip, make sure to get a lot of PJs, nightgowns, and onesies on your registry. People will probably give those to you, but just make sure you put them on there in case you have a particular taste or style that you want so that you can be sure you get those covered. Okay, the first group of products that I wanna talk about are the travel safety sort of products. So a car seat, stroller, and that sort of thing. So I think this is the most important thing to get on your baby registry because if a group wants to go in and give you a group gift, this is a great way to guide them for the right stroller that you want because most people seem to be pretty particular with their car seat and stroller preferences. So first, car seat. This is obviously something that's very important and I researched for a long time and the most important thing to us was, besides safety of course, um, was the convenience and the ease of use. We also are pretty minimal. We don't like a lot of stuff. So the idea of a stroller with a bunch of attachments at that time, we just were not like way excited about that. So we ended up going with the Duna car seat stroller combination. And we used that thing over and over and over. We used it the full year and it was great for us and we really loved it. It's not for everyone. I will say that it's a little bit pricier, but if you are traveling a lot like we did, or you, know, you just really like the ease of having a two-in-one type of product, then I, lo like, I love it. I highly recommend it. And we will be using that with our next baby as well. But when Ray was a year old, we did end up getting the Juvie Cool System, which is a stroller that has a bunch of different customizations. And you can put, you know, like a car seat adapter on it. You can have two chairs. You can even, even have like a third little seat. So it could technically fit three kids on there. So it's great and it will grow with us. But we really loved having the Duna the first year. And so if you've thought about it, I highly recommend it if that is in your budget or if you think that might be a, a gift that somebody, maybe a group gift somebody might want to give to you guys, um, totally recommend it. Okay, another thing with this was we loved having a car seat mirror. So we got just one of those little mirrors you put on the seat and you can look back and see your baby in the mirror and it's just a really nice way to be checking up on your little baby. Um, as a first time mom, I feel like, you know, when we were driving, I was constantly like checking on her, making sure she was happy and good and everything was all right in the car seat. And with both the Duna and the Juvie stroller system, we use the Skip Pop Universal Stroller Organizer, which has like cup holders in it and you just like wrap it around the front handle of the stroller and that was super super helpful to have so I highly recommend that as well. I guess a lot of stroller systems don't really come with like cup holders and stuff so it's a really nice accessory to have. And the other thing I would suggest registering for is just a sturdy diaper bag. Yes, you can get a cute one, but I actually recommend just getting a very basic, I have one linked in my Amazon store, just a basic diaper bag. Guys, it doesn't have to be cute, okay? It needs to be functional and durable because babies are messy and we have loved having just like a functional, durable diaper bag that we keep packed at all times, ready to go. It's traveled with us, it's great. Yes, I do have a smaller, cuter diaper bag that I, carry with me sometimes that I definitely have used are more bulky, like functional <laughs> diaper bag more. And also my husband has no problem carrying it around because it's just very neutral. If you want your husband to carry your diaper bag, you probably want to make sure it's a neutral one. Okay, now I wanna talk about some of the baby carrying and lounge products that we had that we love. First off, a swing. So we actually were given a swing as a hand-me-down and we loved it. And I will link one very similar to it in the description in our Amazon store. And it's very basic. We didn't need anything super intense. Ray is a very easygoing girl, but the swing is so nice to be able to set them in. So it's like a little comforting and 
you can go and do the dishes and you can get yourself ready or whatever you need to do. And even the most basic swings usually have, you know, a little thing that plays music if you want that. But I would just say start with something pretty basic because I know people who have purchased the more expensive swings that end up barely using them. So if you think, you know, I would just start basic and then if you end up your baby ends up needing something a little bit more, maybe you can buy it down the road. But for the most part, I would just go with a very basic swing and, you know, save on that. So one thing that was a little bit pricier that we felt was totally worth it is the Baby Bjorn Bouncer. And this is a fabulous little nifty thing to keep your baby in when you need your baby to be safe, but maybe you don't want it to be a swing or whatever something that they can just lay in and they can uh, have different levels of how they're propped up. And Ray still uses this today because it actually can grow with them as they get older and become a toddler. Ray loves to sit in this and bounce and she'll, you know, like watch a show while she sits in it or she'll play with toys, she'll put babies in it. Um, it's just a really great bouncer and it's super durable and you can easily take off the cover and wash it, which is so nice. And we did register for this and it was given to us off of our registry. So that was awesome. And another thing we loved was a baby lounger. So we used the Docatot and this was given to us. So I don't know if I would have purchased it just because it is a little bit pricier and we really only used it for a couple months. But during those couple months, it was so nice to be able to just lay her and have her close to us while she slept or you know took a nap or whatever and we wanted her to be close to us she was safe in her little daca top i never let her sleep in it by herself i know there's like controversy with that but i always was with her when she would be laying in it it was just nice to keep her sort of like snug and secure around the house and i really liked that but once again i would put it on my registry again for sure but if i if somebody didn't give it to me, then I don't know if I would have purchased it on my own. I don't know. Okay, and then there are a couple baby carriers that I recommend. And you guys, I loved baby carrying so much. And I cannot wait to do it again when we have baby number two. The two baby carriers that I absolutely loved using and I will be using with baby number two is the Baby Bjorn carrier. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I will have it linked. And it's so easy to put on. Um, I think it's great to have that one because I feel like my husband could easily put that on and it was just, it's just such a simple little clip on carrier. So I highly recommend that one. And then the one that I also loved wearing was the boba wrap and you can really get any wrap, but the boba wrap was the one I loved. And this is the one that will just wrap around and keep your baby really, really close and snug to you when they're like new and you have that baby. Oh, I just, mm, I miss that. All right, let's talk about sleep and a few of the things that I thought were so awesome to have and I still use today. So one of our favorite things ever is the Hatch Baby Nightlight and Sound Machine. It is so awesome and it'll be something that we're gonna be using with Ray for years to come because it just does so many things. It has so many different sounds you can play on it and so many different colors. Right now we're pretty basic and we just alternate between the lighter, like dim yellow color of light and then the sound that she sleeps with. And it has this little ring on the top and you just tap it and that switches between the two or you hold it down all the way and then it turns it off. And you can also control all of that from your phone, which is so cool. So I highly recommend the Hatch Baby Night Light Sound Machine thing. Anyway, it'll be linked in the store. I also mentioned a monitor and I did a ton of research on monitors and I don't know why you guys, it was so intimidating to me and I had no idea what to purchase. So I ended up just going with what was highly reviewed on YouTube and had good reviews on Amazon. And that was the Infant Optics 360 um, monitor. So it has like a camera that can like turn 360 degrees, which is really cool. And then the monitor, you can see it, um, its color and then at night it goes black and white or whatever, but um, you can hear and you can zoom in and you can see and you can talk 
And yeah, it's just a really good monitor. I really like it. We're really, really happy with it. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with what monitor to get for your baby, just register for the Infant Optics one and you will not be disappointed. At least we haven't yet. And it's been a year and a half and we've loved it. All right, make sure to register for a pack and play. A pack and play is so essential, I think. There are so many different reasons you know, situations that can come up as to why you would need a pack and play. And again, with pack and plays, I was like, well, which one do I need? There's like this deluxe one and then there's this basic one. And honestly, I bought one that was a little bit more fancy than I ever needed. Had like the changing table in it and stuff. And because we put Ray in her bedroom in her own crib within the first couple of weeks, we didn't really need that much of a pack and play setup. And that's what I thought we would have in our room for months, but we ended up just having her in there for a couple weeks. So I would recommend now, if I were to register now, I would just get the basic pack and play with the infant top insert. So that way when they're younger, if they ever have to lay in the pack and play, you don't have to like go way far down deep, <laughs> reach over to get them out. Whereas when they're a little older, you can take that infant insert out and then they can you know stand up and you can get them easily when they're in the pack and play. So definitely register for a pack and play. I also loved getting some pack and play sheets because they're just really comfy, cozy, better than just laying a blanket down because the, the pack and play mattress is kind of, not kind of, it's not comfortable at all in my opinion. And getting a nice cozy sheet on top of that really makes a difference. So just a bundle of sheets for the pack and play specifically, very good. Another thing I always recommend to new mamas is the Halo sleep sack. So get the newborn Halo sleep sack to start. Try it out. It just makes it so easy and way less intimidating to swaddle your baby and keep them swaddled all night. And then when they transition away from the swaddle, the Halo is the best way, in my opinion, that worked for us because you can take their arms out but still have like their um, chest swaddled. So that would be my strong recommendation for a swaddle and we tried a bunch and I know everyone is picky with their swaddles but that's my recommendation is the halo sleep sack. A couple things that we used for bath time that I wanted to share with you guys are first the angel care bath support tub and I know I have videos so I'll insert the video of Ray in this little support in the bathtub, we never actually washed her in the sink. We only gave her baths in the tub from the time she was first born. And it, we just always put her in this angel care bathtub support and we loved it. We've saved it and we'll use it again for baby number two. It's awesome. And then along with that, we have loved these little towels that we used for Ray. She's definitely grown out of them by now, but they're so perfect when they're infants and you wanna get their head covered, it has that little hood and it keeps them warm and they look so cute in them and I really suggest having their own towels for them. So that was one thing that I wouldn't have thought of unless someone gave them to us. And as far as feeding goes, I can make a whole video on this on what you would need to feed, whether you're nursing or pumping or doing formula. I've done all of those and I have made a bunch of videos on breastfeeding and pumping and all that kind of stuff as a working mom. But if I were to register right now for a new baby as a new mom, I would just get the Dr. Brown's bottle set, which comes with a bottle warmer, which we thought was really awesome to have because we did pumped bottles. We also did some formula occasionally and just so nice to be able to pop the bottle right into the warmer turn it on and then go about your business instead of having to like hold it I don't know like how else would you heat it up under the sink under hot water I don't know just very convenient way to warm up your bottle so it comes with that as well as all the bottles that you need and um, even like a formula carrier I think it comes with a cleaning cleaning tools for the bottles so that set is linked in the Amazon store and I think it's awesome. And the Dr. Brown's bottles have awesome reviews. They are great, especially for babies that struggle like with their feeding if they, you know, drink too fast or whatever. They are awesome bottles. And with that, I also loved the Boone Grass drying rack for bottles. I don't know how I would have dried my bottles without that thing. It's so helpful, it's so convenient, especially with all the little accessories that come with the Dr. Brown's bottles. So 
I highly recommend getting a nice drying rack. So I hope this is really helpful for you first time moms out there that are racking your brains trying to figure out how to get started with your baby registry. Remember, it will all work out. Don't stress too much about your registry. Once you get that baby here, you'll realize that's all you ever really needed. And you know, all these things that I'm recommending to you are just things to help that adventure be a little bit easier, run a little bit more smoothly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out Michelle's video. It'll be linked in the description box below. Subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.